It was the summer of 1864. General Ulysses S. Grant was beginning to feel pressure from Washington to wrap up the war before the presidential election that fall. Grant had moved his cavalry units to Trevilian Station, a crucial railroad hub that would help paralyze the Confederate city of Richmond, Virginia. General Lee knew that this would be a death blow, so he took half of his available units and sent them to defend the station. Then he sent a battalion around the Louisa Gorge to try and flank General Grant and capture him before the battle even began. This is high stakes. The war could go either way from this point. On the evening of June 11th, as Grant's men lay sleeping, General Robert E. Lee led close to 400 men through the night to the ridge behind the Union Army's camp. They silently crept through a large cornfield when they stumbled onto a herd of sleeping velociraptors. The carnage that ensued left 260 Confederate soldiers dead, and some believe tipped the battle, and thus the war, to the north. We'll return to Dinosaurs and the Civil War, only on the History Network. That's great. Bravo. Nicely done. Uh, are we concerned at all that this didn't happen? What do you mean? Well, this didn't happen. There were dinosaurs, and there was a civil war. Not at the same time. It's like we took two documentaries and we put them in the same time slot. Look, we work for the History Network. I feel like it's our obligation to make sure that some of this stuff is historically accurate. Some of that stuff was historically accurate. I feel like it's my obligation. Well, the history professor in the show seemed to think That's that. That's another thing. You are not a history professor. You can't just go on TV and say that you are I one. I was acting like a history professor. You know, I would just like to say that uh, dinosaurs and baseball got us the highest ratings of last year. I mean, people love this stuff. Yeah, I think you're outvoted here. So what were some of your ideas? Well, I thought we could do a piece on the Magna Carta. I mean, most everyone knows about the Magna Carta. Say they didn't. But not everyone knows the details or the significance of the document. I thought we could do a real nice six-part series on it. Hmm. You know, I like that idea. I just feel like it's missing something. Yeah. It doesn't have that oomph. What if we took the Magna Carta and infused it with the legend of Bigfoot? Bing. You know what? Never mind. OK, moving on. What if we did a special called Prostitutes Now and Then? It would take a look at the world's oldest profession from the dawn of man to the future when prostitutes will be robots. You know what? I could have the CG department make a simulation of what it would look like if one of those old-timey prostitutes were totally making out with one of the future sexy robot ones. Oh, that would be great. See-through battle monsters. What did you just say? That's my idea. See-through battle monsters. You know, when I left tenure to come work here at the History Network, I thought it'd be different. I know. Isn't it great? Yeah. I thought it was going to blow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As everybody knows, next week is Hitler Week, and this year's spin is... Was it really that bad? Where are we with programming? Hitler versus Sharks is almost done, and I can't wait to see who wins.